I don't know what would give you that idea, Eric. What's going on everybody? Eric Barassa here, and today I want to talk about a budget Music Man. I thought it would be fun to check it out, see if Music Man can really bring the goods with their Sterling line. So let's get into it, let's hear the audio clips, and then we'll come back and talk about it.
Okay, so let's talk about the things I really like about this guitar. Number one, I like the tone. It sounds different than all of my other guitars. So far, I have whittled my stable down to six nice guitars that I play on a regular basis. And I think I'm done. Let's face it, I was at Guitar Center, I was kind of bored. It was a scratch and dent deal. Somebody broke off the whammy bar and it's still stuck in this thing. So I got $100 off. So for 300 bucks, a really cool, unique looking Music Man guitar. And I am a sucker for these like retro futuristic guitars. I don't know what would give you that idea, Eric. I, I love the color too. I personally think this guitar sounds best on a clean setting. This is a really great clean humbucker sound. I typically prefer single coils for a clean sound, but I really like the way these sound. I even like the way the in-between split position sound, but you lose all that volume and there just doesn't seem to be a good way around that with these kind of guitars. If you know of a guitar that splits its humbuckers and doesn't lose volume, let me know in the comments below because I would love to see it. Okay, let's talk about the feel. The feel of the fretboard, it feels good. You know, it's got a good feel to it, but you can tell it's um, a budget import guitar. So for what it is, for the price, it's a great neck. Compared to all of my other guitars, which are in the like one to two thousand dollar range i mean there's no contest uh and that's a big deal for me so i think if this had a really high-end neck on it i think that would make the difference between me w wanting to keep or sell this guitar moving forward it stays in tune really well uh all of the parts on it are are seem to be dependable and of high quality and when you compare this to other guitars in this price range. You know, you look at like a Fender Mexican Strat and those start at $600 brand new. Well, this starts at four. So if I was a new guitar player and I was looking to um, get into the game, not only did you have this super cool looking guitar, which I don't know, let me know what you guys think about the shape of this. I think it's a really classy look, but um, some people may say, ah, it's too weird for me. But for $200 less, and I would say about equal build quality and probably better sound quality than a Fender Strat made in Mexico, um, I, I think this is a win. So in the lead guitar settings, I like the crunch. I like it as a rhythm guitar. As a lead guitar, uh, it's too scratchy for me. It reminds me of like some vintage guitars and maybe that's what they were going for. But I prefer a little bit more of a modern crispness when I crank on the gain. So that's another reason why this could not be a primary guitar for me. It would have to be a specialty guitar that I record for certain uh, special instances. So overall, I like the guitar. I think it's a great value. I think it's probably one of the best guitars in this price range. But let me know what you guys think. Have you played the Music Man Sterling Albert Lee model? What did you think of it? And should I keep this guitar? or should I sell it and get something else for the stable that I can review and then sell? And as my great aunt Aurora always says, there's a storm coming. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe and you guys don't smash the like button. We want you to, it's sensitive, gently caress it and then go for a little, I do the boop de boop. And if you're looking for live uh, online lessons or even in person, if you're in the Fort Worth, Texas area, check out fortworthmusicacademy.com. We love teaching our adult students. And if you're like, I don't want to talk to anybody, just give me some videos and some assignments, check out unlimitedguitar.com where you will find a bunch of different courses on a lot of different topics. One of the things I think that makes the site so unique um, is that the, the assignments aren't just, here's an example, play it. It's here's an example. Now you need to transpose it to other keys. You need to find it in other places on the fretboard. These are assignments that are really going to make you think. So if you're just looking for licks and exercises, Unlimited Guitar is not for you. But if you are into having your brain and your mind and your head challenged at the same time, along with your fingers, then UnlimitedGuitar.com might be for you. Download my free Lead Guitar Techniques uh, course today at UnlimitedGuitar.com slash Lead Guitar.
Booba de poo poo. Shut the fuck Really? Yeah, that's what she said. Oh, okay. This is what my voice sounds like. Wow, I didn't know that, Rockabilly Rocky. Okay, have a great day. You have a great day.